Thomas Senior at Thomas Jefferson. Anxiety, a thing I've become more accustomed to than the feeling of my mattress beneath muscles so tense they are almost steel, cold and unmoving. I shiver away from the thought of my mother walking in as a pressure settles into the middle of my chest and that feeling alone makes me panic. It's the weight of a chain binding together my lungs, limiting expansion as they are shut behind the inner doors of solitary confinement. My heart picks up its pace as quickly as my fingers begin to tingle with a sensation of I'm fine. I know I am, I promise, I swear, I'm fine. Words whispered under the breath I can't seem to catch. Tears run away as quickly as my ability to speak and I realize I am the manic pixie dream girl. I am the romanticized quirk of losing my mind under the weight of the single straw breaking my back. I am your 500 days of summer. Sorry it looks more like shaking, trembling, and counting the prescribed time of each breath. Seven second inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four second exhale. One, two, three, four. If you're looking for breakfast at Tiffany's and Audrey Hepburn's doe-eyed, let me validate you enchantment. I'm sorry you'll have to settle for breakfast at your house. I'll try not to let my anxiety get the best of me when I meet your parents. And if you're looking for someone to teach you what it means to live freely and love deeply while simultaneously act as your damsel in distress, will you, Kevin, you're looking in all the wrong places. The validation you seek cannot be found in the curve of my hips or from the warmth you savored over every inch of my body. This is to you, the ex-boyfriend who got angry when he realized anxiety Anxiety wasn't so cute. Kevin, I'm sorry my anxiety couldn't remain an accessory to you. I'm sorry I couldn't remain an accessory to you. Grabbing hold of your arm every time I got uncomfortable under the heat that flushed my cheeks. I'm sorry. Your accessory turned into counting a panic attack for each second of shaky exhale in just one day. And you telling me to just leave the house, Kaylin, with an added Jesus Christ to show me how truly inconvenient my problems were for you. I'm sorry I wasn't your manic pixie dream girl. I can't be your manic pixie, I'm not yours. And if you think my anxiety will fix you the same way you expect me to be exactly what you want, don't hold your breath. I know I won't be. I'll be too busy counting to seven. <laughs>